Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, here to show you basically how an automatic gain control circuit works in an amplifier. Now, automatic gain control is a method of reducing the gain of an amplifier or a chain of amplifiers as the input increases. So if you talk louder and louder and louder into an audio amplifier system equipped with automatic gain control or AGC, uh, the level of the signal, the peak level of the signal will remain the same. The average level will increase. But what happens is that it keeps the amplifier gain from increasing when you scream into it and uh, that type of system has many applications in amateur radio uh, one of which is so-called audio compression in that case it's more often called automatic level control or ALC the basic configuration is that you take the output of one of the amplifiers in the chain the, usually the last one and you rectify that output because it's an AC signal. Um, you rectify that output, filter it so that you get a, a fluctuating DC but fluctuating much more slowly than it would directly out of the rectifier. And then apply that DC to an earlier amplifier in the chain, reducing its gain. You, you apply it as a bias in such a way as to reduce the gain of the amplifier. So as this gain increases and this voltage here increases, this voltage increases, which reduces the gain, thereby increasing the average power, but not letting the peak power increase any further than it already would be. Uh, that uh, method of automatic gain control can result in uh, improved intelligibility in amateur radio transmitters for example up to a certain point but if it's overdone if there's too much uh, of this so that you increase the average power too much uh, without increasing the peak power you're going to get problems such as audible background noises and distortion of the voice to a point where the distortion overcomes any improvement in intelligibility resulting from your getting more so-called bang for the buck. You also have to be careful with circuits like this that you don't overstress the radio frequency power amplifiers that will follow in a ham radio transmitter because you are, after all, increasing the amount of dissipation that will take place in those amplifiers as a result of the increased average power. So the red lines here show the, what in, in effect amounts to a negative feedback path, and the black lines, of course, are the regular old audio going through to the modulator balance modulator, whatever that may be. This is most commonly used in single sideband applications. You'll rarely ever see it used in frequency modulation or amplitude modulation systems. Stan Jabalisco W1GV saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, of course, translates to Da 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 da.